I was 21 when I escaped from East Germany. Most youngsters at my age actually had the idea to go to the West because they, they could offer a much more attractive lifestyle, first of all, and then secondly, people were not restricted. It's uh, affecting your way of life that you can't actually uh, believe when you live in the West. You, this, this doesn't exist, this sort of things, but it exists in a communist country. You had to find a way uh, to trick uh, the uh, government. The, the fact that you don't agree with the ideology is already an offense, because to escape from the communist system itself was a criminal offense. At one stage I went to Berlin and uh, when you saw the wall there was no chance at all. And in my particular case uh, I was in Stralsund, which is a city uh, on the uh, Baltic Sea. Luckily, I met some uh, crew members from the West German ship and uh, I approached them and we made a plan before the ship went out of the harbor. The night before, I swam through the harbor. I was hiding on the ship and they provided me with a sort of safe storage there. The heavy ship was searched by the uh, authorities in spite of all the restrictions they, they had in place. The next morning the ship left harbor without uh, detecting me. The ship itself went to Scandinavia, to Sweden and Finland. And uh, from there the embassies uh, provided me with a passport that I could safely fly to the West Germany then. They expect family members to prevent other families' members from escaping, and particularly in a communist dictatorial, a dictatorial country. If they cannot get hold of you anymore, then the, uh, the family has to suffer. Amnesty was agreed and I went the first time in the middle of the 70s, I went to uh, uh, East Germany to see a family then. 